unique hustle, big, big shit. Hey. Big shit, big shit, big shit. Huh. It's a unique hustle, nigga. Big shit, big shit, big shit, big shit. Huh. Name another podcast like this. Who gonna bring it to the table? Boss talk. Who your girlfriend favorite? Boss talk. Check it, check it, check it. It's a unique hustle. It's your boy ECO, and I'm here with the lovely, amazing, official Miss Jamaica. Yeah, my dad walk on. Was that better? It's cool. <laughs> <laughs> Check it, man. Hey, man, we got a special guest here right now, man. This guy right here, man. If you if, if you've been on uh, YouTube, you definitely can't miss this guy, man. He's a a, a known figure now for me uh, and for a lot of people, according to the views that he get. My guy, marvelous Jarvis, is in the building. What's going on, my hey, brother? What's going on, man? What's going on, man? I, I know where she's from now, though. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't hard, right? That wasn't hard. No, that, my 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 girl, she from Jamaica. Well, oh, she's she not from Jamaica. Her people her pa- from uh, mm-hmm. yeah. So she got the accent. In oh, she yeah. do. Okay. Wow, that's crazy, man. You know, um, the guy that uh, just was on said that he was married to Jamaica. That his children's mother is Jamaican. So y'all love, yeah. They like me. They following me. Yeah. I've been doing this. Yeah. <laughs> what part of Jamaica are family from? I you know, know. <laughs> I don't know, but I know she toughest girl I ever ever dated. Wow, that's dope. That's I dope. Know. I normally run the relationship, but I ain't running this one. <laughs> I don't think I'm running this one either, to be honest I'm with you. I'm not running nothing at all, man. I'm like, God. Man, man. So, so when it comes down to it, man, who is Marvelous Jarvis before Marvelous Jarvis? Yes, yeah, go, Who did I get that back. from? I got that from you, from didn't me. I? Let's oh, go man. Back. Before, but I was Marvelous Jarvis? Man, yes. I've, I've been Marvelous Jarvis for a long time. Okay, let's go back. I, uh, Let's go back. So if I when go you back, was a kid growing up in Dallas, kid growing up in Dallas before I was Marvelous Jarvis, which I've been Marvelous Jarvis since I was probably about thirteen. Okay, okay. so so anything before that, you let's talk remember. about it. It was just like I was just like a street kid, just everywhere, like and um, only just, child, just no, like I you know I got two older brothers. Um, so they, you the baby? So I'm the baby. I'm thirty three. Mama's baby. Uh, mama's baby. <laughs> favorite. I can't lie. I'm the hey, that boy just said that y'all heard him on Boss Talk. I'm he declared a, it. Yeah, I'm definitely. Your favorite. brothers probably know that anyway. Yeah, yeah. but look, look, and, it, and look, we be having little arguments in the house talking about who the favorite and this and this and this, and I be like, they be like, uh, you ain't no job's favorite. Like, <laughs> they be arguing, and then my brothers and them they get into with each other, and then I be like, well, who your favorite? Who your favorite? They be like. Yeah, I am. I'm all y'all favorite. So hey. y'all can't get mad at nobody. Hey, that's <laughs> dope, I'm man. I'm everybody's favorite. That's bro. dope. You got a great attitude, man. So um, your mom and dad together? Oh heck no. <laughs> <laughs> heck no, nah, no. Nah. I, I I had a step I had a stepdad. His name was Larry. He was he was a real 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 good dude to me. Um, that's good. Like um, his sister, I mean, mom said his sisters. His daughters are like my real sisters. If you mm-hmm. say otherwise, it'll make me upset because I don't look at it like a like a stepsister or something like that. We all grew up together in the same house. It's just so. Oh, so he brought the girls and your mama brought the boys. Mm-hmm. Okay, that's cool. Yeah. So, uh-huh. um, so where was your dad? Do you uh, know him? It's the crazy thing is he always stayed right around the corner from me. Always, always. He's always been right around the corner. Like r- right now to this day, he lives right around the corner from me. And mm. it's always been like that. No matter where I ever moved, he so always... So he's following from, you. <laughs> it's either we followed him, it's either we followed him, mm-hmm. or he ended up um, following me. Yeah. But yeah, back, back... But is he a part of your life? Yeah, I mean, yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, growing up, I didn't I didn't really get to see him that much, you know what I'm saying? He was probably everywhere. He said he was a Rolling Stone. I don't know. Mm-hmm. But... You know, like I don't got no hatred towards my daddy. You know, like my mom ain't never taught me to hate my dad, nothing like that. Right, uh, you right, know what I'm saying? right. So, and then, you know, it is what it is. Like I got a good, good relationship with him, regardless of anything. You know. Yeah, because uh, at least you have a good relationship with your. Um, you said your stepdad. He was an awesome dad to you too. Yeah. So he filled in, but then it's always good to know your, your, you know, your biological family as well. Yeah. Now, see, my brother, he's a, uh, he's ten years older than me, so he raised me kind of like. You know, okay. like okay. that. So he the one put me in boxing. So this is going back to the question, like who mm. before. So br- pretty much my brother, he um put me in boxing. He How bought old were my, you when you started boxing? I think I was like fourteen. I was younger than that, but like when I started, like when Taking I signed up, when I signed okay. up for an actual gym, I okay. was like fifteen. You know, fourteen, fifteen. Mm-hmm. But I was fighting on the streets. You know, and, and were you any good? Yeah, I was did you pretty, did you win all the fights? I, I won all the fights up, and he had to get kids that was way older than me in order for him to beat me. Wow. So it was just like how I got into boxing is like 
we was we like in the house. I'm known as a crybaby because you know my brothers they big. They beat mm-hmm. me up. I'm cry, cry to mom. You know like that. So but one day my brother saw me walking down the street, and he like. Uh, Watch y'all was walking with all them kids and he in the front and he looking like he, you know, running the show. Mm-hmm. So he's Jaws, come here. I'm like, mm-hmm. Let's see what my brother want. I go over there. He's like, what you doing? I'm like, nothing. Then all my friends come and they like, um, come on, we finna go down there and so on, so on. He's like, why y'all walking with him? Why y'all following him like that? They like, that's Jarvis. Jarvis can fight. Like, <laughs> like so no one fight at, at, at all, you know, and then he like, he can't fight. And it's like, yeah, he can. Like, he beat anybody up over here. Like, right? So my brother went to the uh he went to Walmart. I don't know where it was. He but got he got some boxing gloves, like some little little cheap gloves. And um, he grabbed him. He say, first kid beat him up. I give him a hundred dollars. Mm. Wow. So I had to fight all my homeboys, each each and every last one of them. I had to fight all of them. And he would have to get like, and you know the kids hearing about the hundred dollars, so they're going to tell they bigger brother and the bigger brother and bigger brother and bigger brother. And they got like up to like, I, I'm like. 11, you know, at this time, they got 12 year olds, 13 year olds, 14 year olds, 15 year olds, 16 year olds. That's when it started getting tough for me, but I'm still winning. Mm-hmm. It had to be like a 17 year old, 18 year old to finally be able to just beat me, and it still was pretty close. So wow. he was like, Man, you got a talent for this. So I just, like, by the time, um, from then, I was just, you know, fighting on the streets, and then I, they built a gym in Village Oaks. That's like where I'm from, like the area I'm from, Village Oaks. So they built a gym over there, and I started boxing, and I ain't looked back since then. Wow. That's um, so um, when you think about just uh, being from Oak Cliff area, man, y'all got this stigma like y'all, you know, like y'all, y'all got to play a major part in Dallas. Yeah. 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 Y'all play a major part in Dallas, man. People love to call y'all Oak Cliff. That's my hood. Uh, kid and play. I heard him on, on, on another show say it. And then also uh, uh, just – uh, E Forty had songs out about Oak Cliff. You know, he's he'll shout out Oak Cliff and and uh that that's that's funny to me, man, how how you guys just always was in the limelight when it come down to stealing cars. Yeah, let's just go and tell the truth about it. That's <laughs> why you know, yeah, them boys over there get your car, nigga, don't park right there. It, it started out it started out with the fighting, I think. Like I think everything started out with the fight. So we was known as the people that would always fight a lot. But I mm-hmm. think back then, like I think things change up based off the music. Like when you Back in the day, you would hear a lot of songs that was about fighting. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So it caused the kids. Head to bustle. Yeah. So it caused the kids to fight. Or nook if you put. Or just yeah. anything <laughs> like that. You know, it caused the kids to fight. Yeah. So um, that's how everybody's like got their reputation up over there. And then, you know, it's the, the music. And then now it's all about catching a body and stuff like that. So these kids are a little different. That, from the, that, well, that but, means it's going to be a lot of funerals. Yeah, it's going to be a lot of funerals. But it is now. You see a yeah, lot of yeah, people getting yeah, killed. Young now, but people. back then it was about fighting. And that's how we built a reputation up in Oak Cliff because it was about fighting. And we was fighting and getting our name out there other than just. You'll hear somebody about somebody getting killed every now and then. But it was really fighting. We was at the train station. We yeah. was doing all that, and we just built our name up based off that, and it became popular on that level. And, yeah, and I liked it when it was on that level. I liked it when it was. Well, yeah, because in today's, in today's society, everybody's quick to grab a gun quick or something. Like yeah, that. I'm wishing that everybody would, you know, get into fighting get and back to fighting. Right. Well, let me ask you this: uh, you, being that you spar with uh, uh, Earl. Uh, Earl, Spence. Earl Spence. How did that happen? Earl Spence Jr. How did you end up doing that? Oh, what, what, man. I mean, how many times you got whooped over there trying to get in the ring like <laughs> a that? A lot of times. <laughs> a lot of times. I got my good days, too, though. Like, I already you, know. Hey, you can't tell those because hey, he's a champion. You yeah, can't even talk about that. If you that. asked him, he ain't going to say, oh, he'll push over none of that. He going to say, yeah, dude can fight. Like, wow. that, that dude can fight. But this is the thing. We've been fighting each other all our lives. Like, yeah. like he's been a rival of mine since we was kids, the rivalry broke by the time he went to the Olympics then because I quit boxing. Like I just Oh, so you used to box him on the streets? I know. We fought amateur together. Oh, amateur. You yeah. and him. And, and did he whoop you or did yeah. you won? I, I feel like I beat him the first time. <laughs> they <laughs> took first it from time. you. I feel like they took it These from you. These niggas took it from you. You got the tape? I, I feel, nah, I ain't got the tape. <laughs> Damn. He said he got the tape. But I say put it out. Put the tape out uh, then. But it was a pretty close fight. It could have went either way. Like, he said he went won. I say I won. It is what it is. But it was a good fight. It was it was crunk. But like the second and third fight, by the time he started going to go spoil with Floyd, make one all them other guys. Yeah, yeah. Why well, he came back and he beat the snot. I'm like, <laughs> beat my. I'm talking about he beat me bad one time. I was like, he beat me up so bad. We fighting like we in the in the ring. This is a real fight. Judges, everybody around. We fighting. We going at it the first round. By this time, I'm like, man, this dude different. 
Somebody. Second round, second round come out. He hit me to the body, and I'm just like, he walk you down. I'm, I'm I see losing, that nigga I'm, walking people down all the time. He look, he hit me to the body. I'm losing um uh, stamina. I'm I like, I can't breathe by this mm-hmm. time. I'm like, golly, he's like in the middle of the fight. No joke, I am not lying. He jabbing me. He's like, Jarvis. I said, what? You ain't been training right now. <laughs> <laughs> in the middle of the fight. In the middle of the fight. We fighting like in the middle. Everybody, and nobody knows this and, much y'all. Yeah, and he's jabbing me right here and he's like, like he go in for like a little body shot boom. and he lean in. Boom. Jaw. I say, what? You ain't been training right. I say, <laughs> nah. <laughs> I said, don't take it light on me though. <laughs> Come on. He kind of took it light on me, backed off me a little bit. Yeah, uh, that's uh, dope, man. That and y'all, but but it was some times after that where you figured it out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then it's the, the, like I didn't really figure him out. I never got a chance to figure him out in the amateurs. Like in the okay. amateurs, he was just the better, better. Like, be- I ain't gonna even say he was the better fighter. He was just more. He had a better trainer. He, it wasn't even that. He was more hungrier. Like, oh, okay. like he started doing things that we wasn't doing. Do like it. we we would. We started getting our minds. I think what distracted. Messed, yeah, I think what messed me up was girls. There it like, is. Mm-hmm. Every like, I think, time. I think, I think the first time a girl called me cute. That's what. Like, <laughs> it was over. It was over. Uh, he is he cute. I think that. <laughs> I think that's what messed me up because I started like just trying to talk to girl after girl after girl after girl, and he kind of stayed focused. Yeah. So yeah. like, and he was doing the extra miles, the extra running. Running. Yeah. Y'all extra, got to run all day. Yeah. He was doing. And you didn't have nobody to pull you up and be like, get your heads out of the clouds. See, Come I on. My, I had my brother, but by the time I figured out he was my brother, it's like, I ain't got to listen to this dude. You got to listen to this. Yeah. Yeah, I'm like, the so, baby boy. Too. I, man, come on. And then, like, he got his dad. So it's just like, it's a different thing. Like, it's a different feel. You got your dad. Like, that's your dad. He snatched you up. Yeah. My brother, he, he snatched me up. Mama. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so let me ask you about. But uh, why did, no, but why did you stop? Why didn't you um try to pursue boxing? He's, and still, come? he's still boxing. So I started back. No, I'm talking, he stopped at that time because what he was saying, you okay, said so you stopped. I, yeah, I stopped because, uh, like, uh, it was a few fights that I thought I won as an amateur that I didn't get the decision. And I was like, man, this is politics. Like, it's just like, like either I'm fighting somebody whose um, fighter is cool with the refs or this and that and this. And I know I'm beating these guys. How am I not getting the decision? So, um, like, tournaments that will qualify you for certain things, mm-hmm. I didn't get to compete in right. EJ got to compete in it. You know, and I was just like, I ah, forget boxing. I, I just, but I always stayed around some type of way, whether I was still hitting the bag or running or something like yeah. that. Yeah. So, like, I retired like from amateur boxing. I was like twenty years old, probably mm. like nineteen years old. EJ went on to the Olympics. Yeah, he went on everywhere. <laughs> went on to the Olympics, turned pro. This is crazy. I quit boxing because of this guy. I told him this. I quit boxing because of this guy because I couldn't beat him as an amateur. Mm-hmm. So I just quit boxing. I was like, man. Earl Spence? Yeah. I don't say his name. Yeah. The nigga <laughs> made EJ, you that's, that's yeah. his EJ. Nigga made you retire? I, I couldn't beat him. That as, nigga put the hands on you, made you it wasn't, retire? It wasn't, it wasn't a thing that I had to retire. It was just like, I, like, he, like okay, like in, in boxing, you have regional, state, and nationals. Mm-hmm. My nationals was Dallas because he was here. You right, get what I'm saying? Right. Yeah. He would go out and beat the whole national team. So it's like you regionals, then the state is then that's the, all the people from the regionals that won and they part and then they meet up at state. Then all the people at state meet up at nationals. That's when everybody right. fight. That's all the good people from each state. Wow. He beat everybody, but he was also in my city to keep me from going. Wow. So like like so I could never meet this guy at state or meet this guy at nationals or nothing. So he kept me from going. Yeah, which I felt I get like it. so I feel like I could have beat anybody. And possibly been ranked number two at least. Yeah. <laughs> but I couldn't get, <laughs> get past the number one right. guy. Because he was, he was here. Yeah, he was here. Wow. So that makes sense. Crazy story. But I want to talk about your the comedy. I want to talk about um, how you came up with doing the skits the way you do. How you and and what because you've driven the numbers up. Uh you got over how many subscribers on YouTube? Three hundred and twenty thousand. Three hundred and twenty thousand. Yeah. And then uh also um, just how do you like? The, I know the people change. The girls that do the skits with you, the guys that do the skits yeah. with you. People change. Is this relationship driven? I'm just trying to understand. How, and where did the sense of humor come yeah, from? Yeah, yeah. Just give us give us the spiel, man. Uh, give it up. Like how I got into. Yeah, like, how you, you know, got into it, and then we'll go into the. I other started stuff. out doing music videos for people. 
That Everybody okay. always started so music that, videos. I started doing music videos for people. So I would do music videos for uh, Corey Shores, R.I.P. Corey Shores. Man, his mm-hmm. brothers just was on here. We yeah. gave him an award. Yeah. Dope. I, so I would do pe- uh, videos for him, uh, Trap Boy Freddy. Trap Boy. Shout uh, out Trap Boy Freddy. You uh, need to come on the show, man. Stop playing. Uh, just different people like that in my neighborhood. You know? Like, yeah. So by this time, I moved from uh, the Overton side to Woodtown. So okay. now I've been in Woodtown for some, some plus years. I went to high school at Carter. Okay. So, you know, all those people are there at the school with me and they all start rapping. So, you know, I'm in the neighborhood doing this. Now, um, I got really good behind the camera. So one day I started doing this little video where I would go around and I would slap my family with um uh powder or um <laughs> powder what? Just powder. Uh, just powder or uh, uh lotion. Oh, okay. So I was just like going around the house waiting for them to do something, like walk in the kitchen. <clears throat> come out of nowhere and just put it yeah. all over the and he's like I'm good with the camera now, so I got it set up set up to where they so walk I he's gonna posted, capture it I posted it and everybody started laughing like bro this is crazy like this this is funny like so I started doing little videos like that and then um I would do voiceovers like of like old movies or uh, Lion King or something like that I would make them say gangster stuff instead of like what they was actually saying and stuff like that and then what took me off what made me blow up uh, on the internet for the first time is when Drake got into it with um Push 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 T. Nah, it was it Meek Mill. Meek Mill, yeah, Meek Mills. Mills. yeah. And then uh, I used the Tupac and uh, Biggie um from the movie scene when he was like, "Your boy tripping." Yeah, and he was like, "Who?" And I, instead of making him say Pac, I made him say Drake. And then I, he got in the car and he put the tape in. But instead of having hit him up, I had Twitter fingers turned. Turn, turn. <laughs> <laughs> and then I had him like, oh, heck no, no. Like, like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. And then it just took off. Then everybody started following me. And I, I was a uh, sensation on Facebook at the time. Me and Roy Lee. We yeah. were both sensations on uh, Facebook, Facebook at the time. RIP R- R- Roy Lee. And um, that's how it happened. Like, that's how I started, you know, getting off into the videos. What? Oh, so how would you did you already know how to monetize and all that? I didn't know none of that. That's what I was thinking. So know. you were losing money. So I was losing money. Damn but sure was. And was, how long does it take you to to edit and do all that video, the voiceovers and all of that? How long does that take? So like if I was to do like a a video like of something or I edit it, it'd probably take me like fifteen minutes to oh, that's not that uh and I have it up like the same like if, doing I, short skits. if I take mm-hmm. this all this right there, I had this up so quick like it'd be just that quick with the editing because it's mm-hmm. just like i know where i know how i filmed it so i know how everything goes right. i could just drop it and it'd be, it'd be done yeah but the, the dope part is that you able to understand the algorithm now mm-hmm. most people don't don't I really get don't, it bro. i still don't understand it how bro it's a machine you're not gonna never fully yeah, understand yeah, the yeah. damn thing yeah because it's like i was i was viral on facebook at one point in time and now I'm on youtube like, like, so it's like, how did it switch over? I don't even know how it switched over. I know one time I had the option of going live on, uh, I put my videos on um, YouTube because um, Facebook would do things like uh, uh, people will hack you yeah, or something yeah. like that. So I said, man, I could end up losing my videos. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I know ain't nobody you hacking on YouTube or nothing like that. You know, like yeah. it's a different type of account. Like, like, so, you know, so I said, let me just take everything and put it on YouTube. Mm-hmm. I put everything on YouTube. And like a few months went by, I looked at my YouTube and I say, this video looked like it got a million views. Like that. I say, I say, baby, come here. I was dating this other chick at the time. Like we was like YouTube uh, love co-stars. With, yeah. You know I mean? I and know. I said, look. And I said, that looked like it said a million views. And she's like, it is. And I'm Why like. I had a million views. I say, no, nah, it's no way that this video, I ain't, I ain't just now, I just not did this video not too long ago. It's no way, it must be some type of mistake. I kept doing it, saying it's a mistake. And I were stopped. you monetized at that time? No, he losing money. I'm didn't know. telling you. I didn't know. I went down and I started like um, scrolling and I started going into the settings and stuff like that. And I'm like, bro, this thing really. Then it said, hey, you are eligible for me, like to be like, yeah, it started telling me. It yeah. started, everything started telling me. Like, like I'm like, it told me his own self. So I'm like, that's crazy. Like, what is this? I don't even know what monetizing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, what is this? So I click on it. I sign up for it and everything like that. And I started getting checks and stuff like that. I'm like, wow. Like I made like, but since what's the, the biggest vi- check you got during 20, that time? The biggest check I ever got. Period. Like in one check, probably like fifty thousand. Like in one check. Yeah, stop playing. Niggas better stop playing. From it's YouTube. money. It's you better money get you a camera. Yeah. You hear the nigga said 50000 in one month. Yeah. In one session. 
But I haven't done. I, but but what I was doing that was, was the end. This but you have really. to keep that up to get that. You have to, and you don't That's ever know if I can upload every day. Yeah. It's a rep because I'm, I'm like right now I'm at ten thousand a month. Yeah, so I'm like, but I upload like y'all hear that. I, I Get your camera. The man <laughs> say you had ten thousand a month. Most of you niggas on ain't getting twenty. Period. That's yeah. on a slow period. But I only upload yeah, like two videos mm -hmm. this month, and, and he's still, still good. getting that money. Yeah, so that's so. still good. But so he built a good foundation you, so though. So why too. can't you upload more? Because he's busy. A big, no, that no. ain't that ain't, that ain't even it. it. I got all the free time in the world. I can't even lie. Don't well, work. I can it? live off that. It's because the type of videos I shoot, I'm. I, I, it's like. I do relationship type skits. I see them. I see Everything them. that I do is based off a relationship or based off what I've been through. Like okay. in, a, in a relationship, like I said, girls ruin my life from boxing. I start dating different girls. Like, 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 man, I can't even lie. I don't even know how many girls I've been with in my lifetime. So it's just like, like, I just got all these scenarios going through my head of everything that I've ever done. And then I write them out. But I, I never want to, for some reason, I don't like using the same woman in any skits so it's like if i shoot so with you her, gotta it takes time to find it takes girls. time to find people and then you know then set it up or the idea like and then i write according to how they act i don't never really write based off because i might give you something that you can't do you know what i'm saying like like i might say say this say this say this and she just don't fit that part or i might have it like a, a scene that's sexy and she might not be as sexy you know what i'm saying and it don't right. fit her so i look at somebody and be like Mm, see how she talk this 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 and how i write according to what fits her and what fit me and then it's so that's hard that's a hard process and i only can come up with like three of those videos out of the month two you or three. see that's why because you know when we were talking about country wayne earlier is the fact that he uses the same people he over, over and over, and over again that's so it makes it a lot so easier and, and he does different characters too mm -hmm. He does. Uh, he does country Wayne himself. Then he does. Uh, 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 what's that drip? Then he does. He, he got different and all of those things. He's using them and basically turning and 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 and, and making making those videos where they can drop yeah. every day. Yeah, so. Maybe you need to bring back some of the girls sometimes. Yeah, but he you can't, know what I mean. He can't. He no, can't. no, you Ain't can no write coming back. You <laughs> can <laughs> write. You can write it out, especially somebody who acted like really good. Whatever. You can't bring them back. Still, now, I do got people. I do got people that was really. Maybe got, like she'd be like a pop up. Mm -hmm. bro, you know what yeah, I mean. Some of them can't come back. Yeah, the, like it just, yeah, they ain't coming back. Like no, nah, she like he's somewhere with a, a different girl, and then she pop up and you know cause. It um, was hard when they left. Still. <laughs> It wasn't Man. easy. Let's be real. Look, I want to get out. <laughs> <laughs> I want to get out. Of here. But I did have the same co-star for three years out of the. That's uh, good. So that was my my ex, not before the, the Jamaican girl, but the ex before that. So I did have a, a co-star. Her name was uh, uh, Desmond Marie. So she had. I remember. Little, I seen yeah, you, She had a little stuff going on there too, and um, we would do our videos together, and we was. We was actually popping together, you know, at the time, but then we, we separated, and then it just. So once it separated, you can't even work with her. No, no you gotta understand. She got a whole no, other boyfriend. Not only, that, not only that, you got another girlfriend. Right. It don't work like that. She I'm sitting a, there. It's to, acting. It don't matter if it's acting. It wasn't acting when they were together for three years. You're not coming so, back. Okay, so now we together girl, for five, but we five. We but y'all did so a video for every, three. So every girl that you put in there, you're with. Every girl that I put in there, either I had some type of not, not, not. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not shaking. Ooh, I'm scared to say this. <laughs> Told you I got a Jamaican chick. <laughs> Is she in any of your skits? No, don't even do it. <laughs> She's like, nah. no. she a singer though. She's dope. Like she's, okay. she's really dope. So I got to get on the show. Yeah, yeah. She got to get she's on a the singer. show. Like she, 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 she. Like, she's her, really good. She's really good. Her, her, um, her ad is tag your it. She spell it T T A. G G something like that. You are it. Tag you it. Yeah, but she a singer. Like that's that's, that's what dope. She, she she's she's pretty dope. Like like she got like a I say scissor type vibe like going like you know. How long y'all been together? We've been together for two years now. Two years. So I'm always in a long relationship. Like mm -hmm. I'm always in a long long relationship. What does how does she feel about all the she don't like skits that. She don't like and it. the females? Like and Even stuff. my ex before that didn't like it. Yeah, Nobody. But what about when the checks come in? I say that all the time. I say, you but it's it. acting. That's what I mean. Like it's acting. She's like, but you got the power to write what you want to write, and this is what you choose to write. 
That's what they always say. Like, this is what you <laughs> but then at the same time, we've we've interviewed a couple of comedians, and they they'll say, well, sometimes they try to drift from what they're currently doing to please that person, to please that person, or to please just to be different. But they're like. The crowd doesn't it like don't it. Don't like it. They don't like no, it. They, they don't like so it. So it's what they like is what you put out. Man, oh my god! So I I tried to like stir away from what I was doing and do something different. I promise you, I got like I got three hundred thousand subscribers. I got like two thousand views on this video. <laughs> they were like, no, nah, what the fuck is this? Doing? You not? What are you doing? <laughs> I was like, damn, I, like it's no way you. I could go live and get two thousand. Right, you, like it's no way possible. I'm telling you, they, they don't, don't like, like it. They don't like it. Like, so, so do you ever think we're going to stand up or any of those other? The next step? I started writing some stuff the other day, but honestly, you gotta do it. I, I, I don't know why I haven't done it yet, like, bro. You just, gotta do like, it because too many. You got a fan base. You mm -hmm. gotta step out on faith and just try. Yeah. You gonna get booed? You gonna tank? I, I, I don't think. I, yeah, sometimes you'll tank. I don't, I don't think. I think I will. Like, if I have a, I don't think my first time though. Like I, yeah, I don't know if like, I'm there, I'm throwing tomatoes and everything. <laughs> so do you See, I do something like eat it. I, I, I catch it and eat it. <laughs> I do it. I do anything to get a laugh. Like I do like, like appreciate that, bro. So, oh, do you, so, so do you prefer the comedy over the boxing? That's a hard question because I love boxing, but I just don't love it for myself. I love it teaching kids. I love. Uh, training kids and teaching them my methods and my style of boxing and I like how the kids look at me like they like man I want him to be my coach like yeah. you know like because I still got that like hip type feel that mm -hmm. they can like they can uh, you know vibe with because mm -hmm. it's like like I, I'm 33 they don't know that mm -hmm, yeah, so mm -hmm. so but so who, where did you get that um, comedy um, sense of humor sense of humor from your mom who's funny in your family. My mama funny and my dad funny. They both funny. I ain't gonna lie. They both funny. They they super funny. My mama funny on some. She not trying to be. And if she get a funny one in, she gonna milk it the whole. <laughs> like, what I say? What I say? What I say? <laughs> she one of those. And my daddy, he 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 funny. My step daddy was super funny. My daddy funny, and then his. Uh, my my stepdad um, brother was funny, so I would put them up against each other, and they were really low key finna get like have fights, mm. oh, <laughs> like mm, uh, mm, over mm. who can make me laugh the most, and they and like and they be going at it at, at each other, and I'd be like, bro, these guys are really serious right now, and then one of them would get mad because you know the other one was in like R.I.P. my uh, uncle, but one mm -hmm. of them was in a wheelchair, one one of them was in a wheelchair, and then they both telling jokes, you know, to me, and then um. I laugh at the little brother jokes a little harder. So the bigger brother kind of, you know, my switching my step. He uh, kind of get mad. He was like, yeah, keep talking, though. Nick, come over there and fold your ass. Because <laughs> <laughs> he in a wheelchair and did like, and I bust out laughing. He like, see, I got him. Did it. Like, <laughs> like, like, and it's just like, it's always been comedy around me, like with some type of way where like, so it's just like, and then I'm a big fan of Dave Chappelle. Yeah. Uh, just like That's I, your guy? Yeah, that's my guy right there. Well he got in trouble a little bit here a while back. I don't uh, know what he yeah, did. yeah, he did. So he said some <laughs> stuff and uh yeah, it, it kinda uh was it, it was a lot of uh, a group of people that were after him, the group that you don't talk about or you don't say things about because they can hurt your career. And um yeah, he's he's trying he I hadn't heard from him here lately, but I know he's still doing his stand up. Hey man, these people, the, the group, uh, that group, they got everybody spooked. Like, they got everybody spooked, but like, I, I got respect for everybody at the same time. That I feel like if anybody could talk, I mean, if you can't talk about something as a comedian, then the world's just soft, bro. It's just like, it's coming from a boxer. But there's a thin <laughs> line between, you know, because a lot of times you might be thinking something is funny, just like how you said, you know, your dad and his, uh, and his brother, mm -hmm. whatever, be nearly fighting. People, you start something as a joke, but somebody else might take it seriously, and yeah, it becomes just, that's just a lack of just a sense of humor. Like, like, like everybody's so sensitive nowadays; they take everything s serious. Like, like I don't know. Like it's it's getting to the point where you can't even say nothing no more. You can't even get up there and do stand up. Even with the videos on YouTube, it's like the way I used to do stuff. They took a lot of stuff away from us. Well, you can't do nothing. You like like if you. Say a certain word, or if mm -hmm. you get on, you cuss too hard. If you do that, they get yeah done. Yeah, that's gonna that's gonna basically uh, have them limiting your. Mm -hmm. That's the part yeah. with um, YouTube. They limit a lot of things. They limit they a to. lot of things. So I have to look, think, and like, what could I do to make this like this without 
being like and this. And anybody who you bring into the fold, you have to let them know the rules. You can't say this. You can't, can't do this. That, you can't, can't that. Can't can't oh what, what's, right. what's your, what's your, I, I'll ask you two questions. What's the, that, that first video you said that scaled to a million, the one you just had made, was that the one that you seen scale the fastest? Or what's the what's the one that really just... That just took off. Just took off and it blew your mind. On YouTube? Yeah, on YouTube. On YouTube, I did this video called um, when um, a, uh, the Hulk touched... Mm, what is it called? When the Hulk touches um, your girlfriend? Something mm -hmm. like that. So, like, this guy named uh, uh, Kevin Hulk... He uh he a bodybuilder out here in Dallas. Yeah, I, 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 I've so, seen him. So uh he basically like I didn't know he from Dallas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he basically I did not know that. Yeah, I, everybody, all the good people from Dallas. So uh he basically like rubs on my girl like it doesn't show it, but you know she comes in in the scene and say, "Oh, this guy touches me and this and this and this go whoop his ass." And I'm like, "What?" And I'm with all my partners, all my friends and stuff. And uh, actually, one another comedian was in the video. He go by the name of Tater Mac. Shout out okay. Tater Mac. Shout out Tater Mac. Um, he in the video and all of us. And we all roll up on this guy. He's sitting down at first. And uh, we like, yeah, yeah, there he is. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, get up, nigga. Like, he get up. And he just this big old guy. And we like... Was it somebody else out here? When you <laughs> <laughs> was it somebody I else out I here? Seen that, that, one. And that one, like, it shot up so fast. Like, I, we posted the video, like, if we posted it Monday, by Friday, we was already at like three mil. Wow. Like three million views. I think talking to Jordan, Jordan Jackson said, uh, he, he gave us an analogy. Um, real, it was like if you. If you went, uh, if you went viral once, you can go viral again. You, can go viral you again, if you yeah. once you know the formula, mm -hmm. then you you you're able to go viral uh, over and over again. Mm -hmm. Is that something that is that is that true, or do you agree with that, or do you don't agree with that? Yeah, depending on it depends on what you do. So like if it's a song, like a a song, it's pretty it's kind of hard to go viral with a song because you know songs is, can break can break you know change your life. Okay, these skits. Like comedy skits like that and stuff like that, yeah, I feel like it's easy to do it with that because it's not easy. But I'm saying once you got that fan base or once you got a buzz going, you ride your own wave and you like back doing with something that you already did, but it's similar. It's almost like like when you a DJ or something, you put in a nice hit record where you don't want to change up the tempo. You might want to put something that's kind of matching the tempo of the last song you just played, yeah, and then ease into something like that. So I might drop something like how I did with. You know the hook, and then we might want to drop something back that's kind of similar and similar, similar to people start to start to die down. You might get five million, four million. You might see a million, and he like, all right, they not they not rocking with it anymore. They getting tired of it. Let's hit them with something else now. So yeah, it's it's pretty. You know, I, once I, I you know the formula, once you know the formula, you, you know you just gotta. It's always a gamble with with anything that you do. It's always a gamble, but you pretty much know. What to what to bet on now? Like yeah. what to go with? So what's your what's your what, what's your ultimate goal? Uh, my ultimate goal. I want to be, I want to be one of the first black YouTubers that made over a million dollars on the site. Then I got a um, no 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 no. I'm talking about in Dallas though. There oh, you go. In yeah, Dallas. yeah, in Dallas. Dallas. That's what I'm. Well, say. you are on. You are. I don't know. I but I'm not tapped in like that. But I really don't know anybody I, and, else. And that's I'm not talking just about really. And I'm not doing about, it. I'm not talking about gaming, none of that. I'm talking about comic-wise. I know comic what you're talking wise. about. You're talking about comic-wise. Yeah, comic-wise. I want to be one of the first to make over a million dollars in Dallas. And you're talking about off of what era? Because you've already made a lot of money. I made a lot of money, but I ain't got a million. Yeah, but so when you are you counting it to see when you get to a million? Or are you saying nah, but I see, want the time, meal ticket to just come like that? This, this time I want to. I don't want to blow it. Like I like I had a I had a um a strip club addiction. A really bad strip club. Let's talk about that. So that's, that's a so good you thing. blew a lot of that money at a strip. Yeah, club. let's talk about it. So, so let's, let's let's get which. Uh, so you know you can check to see how much YouTubers make, like like you know monthly or whatever. So yeah, you correct. Can just go you can look, look at this stuff. So like last one time, I mean, if you go look at one of them checks on there, it was probably like a twenty thirty thousand dollar check I had made or something like that. Man, I probably threw that whole damn check in the club. <laughs> <At> the club. <laughs> I probably, I probably they know that. you at the club, <laughs> man. Damn they check. happy when they see you come. <laughs> Marvelous job of sitting in there, and they, it's about thirty women around him, and they don't know why. They just sitting there trying to keep up with my rich friends. <laughs> <laughs> my rich friends. Your rich friends could do that, but at the end of the day, that's a lot of money, and you can at that if it comes like that. Yeah, and but like, how much did you spend? Uh, I didn't in say. Total? I didn't. I don't know. 
I ain't say nothing. I was, it's just like I'm just living like like like. But one of my my brother told me is bro. It's like he's like he said bro. It's because you like you need to get it out your system, bro. I, I don't yeah, want you're you to not do used it. Used to it. He said, but you just not used to it. You just a regular street nigga that niggas right. don't know. So it's just like once you got it, you just you just don't know what to do. Imagine if you had invested all of that. Money. Yeah, invested in and stuff like that. Like, wow. like like so so I'm like, dang, I just keep like blowing it, blowing it, blowing. So now it. you have it. You secure now. Yeah, no, 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 I'm not secure. Cause see, this thing is, I had just got fired. Like, so this last thing. So, how long la- ago was this? The last, like, this is all recent. All this is recent. So, I noticed your channel, and I'm gonna let you finish that. But I noticed you kind of. It stopped. seemed like you stopped, and, and, and but you had the momentum, mm-hmm. and you stopped. So, go ahead now. They, now tell us what was going demonet- on. They demonetized me. Uh, they did? Yeah. Why like, did they demonetize you? Like I said, my album, like, it's certain stuff that you can and can't do. So a lot of my videos, they just started just rechecking them. And they just started, like, going through, like, we don't like this, we don't like this, we don't like this. Demonetize. Old videos. Yeah, just old everything. Up. We don't like this, we don't like this. Oh, this is sexual, this is this, this. So I had to go through and take a lot of stuff down. With I don't care how many views they had, I had to go through and take a lot of stuff down. So I was out for, like, two, three months. So... If I'm if I was up like so once you like get it to a number that number stays the same even if you barely drop in that number so if you get that the the estimate uh what you gonna make that month to twenty k it normally stay the same if you just dropping barely because you already reached that number yeah. so then, so by the time they hit me with the demonetize that twenty started and then got the ten then they got the zero all back and then I'm out and I don't got no other <clears throat> sense of I don't want to. No job or nothing like that. And I'm mm-hmm. like, so, so I'm like, dang, bro, I done threw all everything I had in the clubs. I'm doing all this crazy stuff like that, and it's back to zero. It's back to square one now. And then they hit me up and was like, hey, you're eligible for this. I'm like, they <laughs> <laughs> hit you back up. And they put me back on. And I'm like, dang. So now I got the number back going back up. But I only dropped like two or three videos. Since I've been, been very careful how you drop those. Yeah, I've been very careful about how I, how I dropped the, the video. And then I got in trouble again because in the video, this girl, we doing we doing this scene, but she got a tattoo, but it look it don't look like it look like it's her like nipple. Yeah. But it's a tattoo. And then they like, ah, I'm like, bro. I but can't, can't you see? can't you fight them on yeah, that one? Uh, yeah, so no, I mean they um they uh they let me pass with that one, but yeah. do you think it's because of more the more money you accumulate, they start to be more stricter? Oh, mm-hmm. no, I do you not. see what I'm saying? Think I about that they for get a second. Strict on me, they getting strict on me. But you got to think about it. Most of everything is usually computerized, right? Mm-hmm. So once you have that one video that get flagged, that's when that human person go back yeah, and the check human, everything. Yeah, but they I had it checked like that, and they still mm-hmm. said. Hey, you know it is what it is, and it's it's funny how you you, I'm thinking about it. It's like wow, like they seen you doing it. You were you you were you were uploading it. You wasn't it wasn't live. Keep keep in mind now I, th- it wasn't live, mm-hmm. so they already had approved it. That's what I'm saying. Keep, but the computers are who com- approve it until something goes wrong. On one so, other video, then the human person comes back and double so, check. So, so okay, like once you p- post it, you got um the computer that'll go over it. They'll they'll put the basic. yellow or green. Mm-hmm. Green means it's a go full, you know, get full uh, ads. Yellow means limited ads. Limited, you mm-hmm. know. So the computer always give me limited. Then I have a person come in doing manual. Well, they green pretty much all of them for me. And then one day they just went through and say, this isn't suitable. None of these videos are suitable. And I'm like, I looked down at my flags to see if I had any, no flags, no nothing, no nothing. They just said they don't like what I'm doing. That's it. It was no flags. It was nothing that I did. You couldn't debate? It just said, they just said, they don't like what I was doing. That was Mm. it. They they don't like what I was doing. That was it. It was no, I didn't get no flags, no no strikes. No no strikes, nothing. YouTube just have total control over everything. That's but, why you got to make sure you you do you do Patreon or no? Mm-mm. You got to start doing some other Find things. Find another platform. Yeah. Back, back backbone server. Well see, well, see, I was getting paid from three different sites, but I just stopped grinding hard on. Like I was getting paid on Facebook. Facebook paid good too. I was getting paid on Instagram and YouTube, but it's nothing like YouTube. YouTube is different. Like, it seems it seems like it's more user friendly. Yeah, it's it's different. Like it's like it's hard to get one subscriber. I'm not joking. It's hard to get subscribers on YouTube. So if you got subscribers on on YouTube, you doing something. Well, I don't I care. If you got 50K. 
Yeah. You doing something. Yeah, we working. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's the whole game. Like, so you basically, how hard was it to monetize on, uh, on, on Facebook? Facebook, yeah, they just gave it to me like one day, like <laughs> one day they just started <laughs> they sending just, you checks. Yeah, they just say this how you do it, this, 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 and something. Like but they took me out too because I don't know. I think they wanted me to do some type of, uh, some type of partner stuff like this, and then they said they took me off one time and they let me back. That's what they always do. They always take me out for a few months and then they always let me back. I be feeling like they losing money and then they just gotta target smaller YouTubers mm. and then let them go, like, let them go for a little bit and then bring them back. That's what I feel like they're doing. Wow. I mean, if you if you say, you better start figuring it out. If you could post every day or post three, four times a week. Man, if I could post every day, I'm a millionaire. It's just, it's just, it's, it's because just, your it's numbers a, are already up high. Yeah, it's, you got to figure out something. Go live on YouTube. Figure it out. Do you go live? Mm -hmm. And how does that do for you? It do good. Um, I be having a lot of people in the room. So like, 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 in, back to um, like a question. Like when you was like, like, how did I know about the uh, YouTube? Like, like, how did I? Like, you know, I didn't even know I was viral on YouTube. I didn't know I was a YouTube celebrity. None of that. It just one day they gave me an option to go live. And I said, live, they got YouTube live? I clicked on it. I didn't know I had fans, none of that. I didn't know I had, I didn't I didn't know nothing. Like I was just clicked on it one day, went live. And it's like, oh my God, he's live. Like here he is, oh my God. Everybody going crazy. I'm like, the hell? <laughs> I, did not, I didn't know, I didn't know none of that. Like then I was like, where's your girlfriend? The video girl you do all the videos with? And she was right next to me at the time. And it's like, we live and we talking. I'm like, wow, and I started going live every day. And it got fun. And I really started dropping on them. And that's how that happened. Like far as it you helps. understanding it live, like, understanding like, who you really was. Yeah, I did not. You know. didn't know you was a celebrity. So what's the craziest thing happened? Like being, uh, you was out and somebody seen you and they was like, man, is, I just, I'm so happy to meet you. I had a guy. When, I, had a, <laughs> I had a guy when I was running down the street. You know, I do the box and stuff. Yeah. I'm running down the street. I'm on the freeway on the service road. This guy stops on the service road, turn his car back around. I was like. I said, oh, dang, man, somebody finna get me, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I said, dang, and I, I I got a little a little um little uh, uh 38 special in the in the bag. It's all like a little small, little good. Yeah. I said, I'm finna shoot this nigga, like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and he said, I am a big fan. <laughs> and he started taking like pictures with me and stuff. I like, bro, you can't roll up on nobody like that. Like, I, I thought you were finna do something to me, bro. Really? Like, I'm talking about it's, it's no way that you would think otherwise, because we on a service road. If you turn back around, you going the wrong way. Yeah. This dude turned his car back around. I don't know how he noticed it was me from a freeway. I'm running on 45. I'm going, uh, I run from, uh, like, like I get my four miles in, and I run from 45 all the way probably like to, uh, uh, what is it, 20 or something like that? What is it? What, but I run, run you know, the yeah, freeway. Yeah, run the freeway. I hit the freeway on him. And, and he stopped. came back. He came back on the sun. I say, man. But that's like the craziest thing that ever happened to me. Like, other than that, when I'm in Dallas, I'm local. Yeah. So, Nobody really just, you know, like, I don't care who you is. You could be a super celebrity somewhere else, but if you local, they're going to treat you like you they local. They're going to treat you local. I know him. Mm -hmm. Like, they're not going to ever give, like, uh, like Yellow Beezy or something like that. Even though Yellow is a is a superstar in Dallas, yeah, they're going to take pictures with him, but they're going to pretend like he local and not give him his flowers. But if he goes somewhere else, man, they're going to get that man his, his, his flowers. Like, you know what I'm saying? But, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. That's so, how it is. Yeah. So being from Oak Cliff, if you and you and Yellow Beezy, y'all, y'all, uh, y'all have had some dealings. Or we did a skit. We did a skit together. Y'all did, did a skit, skit together. Before. Yeah, it's it's on Facebook though. He did a really. Skit. He a cool dude. Yellow is a real cool dude. Like out of like a lot of people that made it and stuff like that. Yellow cool. Like I walk up to Yellow and be like, play basketball with him. Chill, yeah, talk yeah, to yeah. Him. Like I'd be like, like Yellow do stuff that he could charge people. I'd be like, hey yo, this girl, man, she just came from so and so and so, man, can you give us a drop, bro? Yellow turn around and do the drop. I heard you know, that about like, it. Like he a, he a cool dude. Like he don't like he don't you know, like he don't be. He don't make he don't, he ain't Hollywood. Yeah, he don't be on no. He don't play the stuff. Hollywood. Uh, I I've been around him a, a few times as well, so yeah. I I definitely respect and uh love the legacy. And I know him through other partners, so like me and him I ain't really just grew up like that together, but. Like you know Thomas? Yeah, I know Thomas. Yeah, that's yeah. my guy right there. I like Thomas. I yeah. met Thomas at the Big T, man. Shout out to Thomas. Thomas' man. little brother is my best, one of my best friends. Tommy, okay, Tommy Lee. Yeah, uh, that's one of my best friends. But that's dope. Like, yeah, uh, yeah. Like I run into those guys. They 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 cool guys. Like you know. Do you like the way the the uh, the music and everything is uh, uh, uh going in the Dallas market? Uh, 
Do you even listen to rap? What do you listen to hip hop? I don't really listen to rap like that. You listen that. to R and B? Yeah, I listen to old songs. I listen to old old songs. Like still to this day, I work out to uh, "Love Come Down" by Evelyn Champ. Like, yeah. You know, like, yeah, 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 yeah. Like, so I listen to Love old songs. Come I, down. I, yeah, I don't yeah. like new songs. I don't like it. Like, I feel like the type of music you listen to poisons your mind. And wow, I just, I that's just deep, don't, right? I, I, don't, I don't. I don't like. I feel like everything. Like, I, like not just fasting. Like when you fasting when from food. But like I, f- I know that you can't fast from everything else, but you can at least relax your mind and feeling like because when I get to listening to stuff like that or I see stuff like if you see like some police brutality type stuff and you looking at it, it make you feel a certain way. You be like, I wish it were me, boy. I like so I feel like that with the music too. Like if I'm listening to a certain type of music and it's talking about a certain type of thing, I'm gonna feel that way. So it got to a point where I was listening to stuff like that and I and I was walking around and I'm in the car with guns and I'm like, this ain't me. What's wrong with me? I'm <laughs> waiting on something to happen. Like and that's I feel like that. That's the, that's the music that, and then I go back to listening to something else, like I'll get on something cool, and I feel different, you know? So, yeah. that's just how it is. Well, the thing you got to understand, man, is you're special. Mm-hmm. Like, you're, you're a talent, and, 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 and I'm glad you recognized it uh, when you did. Mm-hmm. Um, I think you got to make sure that you stay consistent. We need you. Dallas don't have you, mm-hmm. so we definitely need you. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? If yeah. we don't have you... Then who's gonna fill that gap? Country Wayne down in Atlanta. Country uh, Wayne ain't from Dallas though, is he? I say in Atlanta. Oh, yeah. I'm like, like he got we they got they they got their thing going. Yeah. I don't know where exactly, but I just know where he where he at, where his we team really don't be. got too many people out of Dallas. It's, no, I, that's, it's that's just one funny. girl I see. She she does stuff, but I don't know her name. She was supposed to come on the show. My wife met her at a function and No, I take that back. We do got comedians in Dallas. We got a lot, what I'm saying, but they haven't got their big break yet. A lot of them haven't got their big break yet. And then the one that finally was feeling like he was finna do something and get his big break, he ended up passing away. Passing away, away yeah. So Roy Lee. Mm-hmm. So it's a few people in Dallas like that 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 that's good. Um uh like I say, I, I like Tater Mac. I like um um uh, it's a few guys. Um uh, what's the other guy? Can't think of his name. Uh, I like D Wheel, both D Wheels, but both D Wheels are funny to me. Um, what's the guy that do the um shade tree mechanic skits? I can't think of his name. I like I, it's a lot of people. Like it's a lot of people. I just you forget I love I love the comedy. It's, it's definitely uh it, it, you ever think about doing a TV series? Yeah, um, more like a see. That's why I say like like I kind of try to say that I'm not a comedian because I feel like I'm more of an entertainer. So I got this story that I'm writing called Deceitful. And it's more like a love, um, hate, like a love cheating type series, like where it's like like I'm dating somebody that I'm not supposed to be dating and stuff like that. So, um, yeah, like like I, I want to get off into something like that. And it's not, it's no comedy in there because I think I could be relatable. And then sometimes I could throw com- comedy in there like that. I like what um, Kevin Hart did with this new um, thing he got on Netflix. He showed a different side, even though it was funny. He showed a different side of himself. Was it the moment he killed when the He's yeah, like, yeah you know? Like that's what I'm trying to get off into. Like well, I want people to know you that can I, do I can that too serious. though. Like it's like you could do whatever. That's the way Jamie Foxx showed us. Mm-hmm. You can do it all. Yeah. Jamie Foxx, Jamie Foxx, <laughs> Jamie Foxx, he one of them guys that's like, even if you look at him, you're gonna laugh. Cause he's like, like, he like one of those naturally funny guys, even if you just look at him for the first time, you're gonna bust out laughing. So I wanna like I wanna be like I want people to take me serious too at the same time because it's hard for Kanye to break out in his music because people are just like, "Ah, oh, you a beat maker," like and then listen to the guy though. But you're wrong about Jamie because if he doing uh if he doing say Ray or if he doing a song, then Ray was funny to me. Yeah, though. yeah. But then what if he's singing? If he's singing uh uh not unpredictable. Uh, but if he's singing a love song, you, you're not going to laugh. It, he was an unlawful citizen, and that yeah. wasn't a funny, um, it wasn't a comedy. So he different, he can go but different ways. But you only ways. can name, like, a couple. You can't name a lot. Like, you only can name, like, <laughs> the, I like, like, like everything this man do, it be funny. Like, even if he not trying, he be just, like. He dope, like, he dope. I guess Jamie, you could say he from here, ain't he from, yeah, like, he from, from, he from Terrell. Terrell. Okay, yeah. Yeah, well, yeah, we got a few people, like. Jamie uh, the, the the beast that's in the room though. Yeah. He like the one. Like yeah. ain't no ain't no Jamie's. Ain't yeah. that that's something that you ain't seen and probably won't ever see again. Who knows? I know it's gonna be hard to, to feel well, those You'll never see a Jamie Foxx or Martin or Martin. Uh, God. Uh, you'll uh, never see a Jamie Foxx or Martin or Come on, Eddie, man. Eddie Griffin or you'll never uh, see those guys again. No, uh, Eddie Murphy. Eddie Murphy. Yeah. Give Eddie Murphy his yeah. props. Eddie now. Murphy is the best prop movie wise, the best. Yeah. Movie comedy with movies, best. But 
Stand up, Dave Chappelle. Off the rip. That's Dave your Chappelle. opinion, dude. Dave Chappelle. You Anybody? think that, that? That's your opinion. Dave Chappelle. It's nobody. Even the comedian say it though. No, I'm I'm cool with what you're saying, but that's not. If I was gonna pick, it probably would not be uh, Dave Who'd Chappelle. Um, that's not my pick. I I. I would I could listen to Kevin Hart. I, Kevin I could, Hart, no. I could listen to him. No. Far as in comedy, I could listen to. Um, Kevin Hart is good, but no, I don't uh, even give him top five. Who, well, who who you give top five? I, That's uh, a good thing. Top three. Uh, top three comedians of all time. Dave Chappelle, Eddie Murphy. Uh, so uh, you put Chappelle over Eddie. Go ahead. And yeah, who else? Dave Chappelle, Eddie Murphy, and um, let me see. Uh, Bernie Mac probably Bernie Mac But you got Like I said I even like Faison was just on here You know I'm a Faison fan too he, I, He's all these guys Stop are, playing All these guys You see you got You got stars And you got superstars You're talking about stars Like these guys are good Yeah, Martin is, is a superstar Martin is a superstar so Martin Ain't is no a, butts Ma- behind Martin that. is a superstar But he's in his own lane For his comedy I would give him I would say See you got all around comedians Like he, Martin is an all-around comedian, which means he's not just funny on the mic. He's funny in movies in in, in, in this too. Dave Chappelle movies are not good, like are funny. He was funny in the movie with Martin mm-hmm. in Blue Street. Yeah, uh, yeah, he was good. Like you know, like what? I, I don't. I, Dave Chappelle is the funniest stand-up ever, but his movies, I don't. I I, I like as far as all around. You got all around comedians. Martin is an all around comedian. He get on the mic or he can get in front of the camera and go, be good. Eddie Murphy all around. Eddie Griffin all around. See all these people when you see them like. But if you see Dave, you really don't think about a specific movie that you know. Like you'd be like like name a specific movie that Dave Chappelle was in. I that, just name one. That, but I'm just saying he only got a small role and it just like you know I'm talking about. People that got a whole like like a big role, and all these people like and you, you you can think about Martin. You can you can even throw Will Smith in there a little bit. You know he kind of got to look like, but nah, he you can't you, you can't throw in Dave Chappelle and say he's a all around guy because his movies. I don't think his movies are as good as Martin's or Eddie Murphy or or. Or uh, like he ain't never had no show where he was on and like like uh, like you know back in the day or nothing like That's that. That's because he didn't concentrate on that. But when you go look at his skits when he was on, uh, what was that thing he did where he was playing the uh, uh, blind racist and all that? All that's all that's funny. What was all that? All his sketches are funny. The that's sketches. show. Yeah. That's Chappelle. all his sketches are funny. All his that, but movies, I don't think he like like just like he he the best though to me he the best. But movie wise, I say other people can do things that that make me laugh more than dave can but but it's all about stand-up like it's all about the stand-up. i can't wait to see you and their stand-up it's i'm, a, I'm stand-up. coming to throw tomatoes i ain't hey, gonna lie to you if i do stand up i'm nowhere near them guys no, it I'm don't gonna, matter i got to make man i'm a man i can't wait I, just make sure i'm there now i know i'm nowhere near them guys but i do study them you I study do, i can I, tell i do I, study them I, I, do, I do watch i do study but i'm nowhere near them guys them guys on a whole nother level man i'm gonna those guys is like I can't believe that they can get up and remember all oh, that what material and just get up there and say it in front of everybody and not feel a certain type of way. As soon as I feel the room get quiet a little bit, I'm like <laughs> <laughs> Eddie Griffin, the best I ever seen do Eddie it. Eddie Griffin? Best I seen. Eddie Griffin is one of my favorites. He's too. the best I, I, love I seen. Eddie Griffin, I love Monique. Yeah, Monique is cool too. Uh, hard. Uh, uh what what's the other fat guy name? I can't think his name. He lost uh, he lost the weight. He's pretty good. He's underrated though. Lavelle, um, Lavelle Crawford, Crawford, underrated guy. Under like you got a lot of funny people that's underrated, and then like you got to give people a feel too. Like like just because it's not like what's the other guy? He's like from Africa. Um, Michael Blackson? Nah, not him. But, he, I, but he's a he's like a like a like a like a corny type comedian. But he's from Africa. He's good. I can't think his name. He he got a. I'm love. just gonna tell you if 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 my boy Bruce Bruce walk in the room with all them comedians there, y'all still gonna show him love. I promise. Bruce Bruce good. Yeah, he good. <laughs> uh, it's a you lot. Of, they say Gary Owens are good too. Yeah, yeah. Gary yeah. Owens. All, all these people, they are good. Like 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 for them to just even just have. The, you know, like it's hard. It's hard to make a crowd of people to laugh. You Man, know? Jesse, but, Jesse McDonald did a good job. Yeah, so it's, but as far as the best, those are my, you know, those ty- those type of people. Those are my favorites. You know. Wow. Yeah, man. So, hey, man, we we love you, man. Uh, Marvelous Jarvis, when we gonna get our skit right here at Boss Talk One Hundred One? Uh, it's got to bring your girl, whatever you gonna do, and let's get it popping. Oh yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, yeah. T- <laughs> 
For sure. Let he got to write it out. Yeah, I got to write it out. But I already, I, I can come up with some, like, I can come up with some. What, what, see, we got the. Um, we got this whole store. We got a whole bunch we can do. Easy. That's easy. Okay, well, let's, let's get it popped. You got to tell me when yeah. we're going. Yeah. I'm, I'm going in. I just All I want to do is get a cameo right here. Yeah. Bam. Boss that's, talk. That's easy. I can already, I already thought of something just now. So I'm like. I just don't want to see it. No, no, no. <laughs> I, want it, I want it to go down. And you can take it, put it on your channel yeah. and, and all that good stuff. Mm -hmm. It's going to go down. Man, thank you for coming on the show, man. No, for real. Thank y'all for having me. Man, how can me. people get a hold of you? Oh, just Marvelous Jarvis, everything. Google it or just uh, go to um, Instagram, YouTube, anything. Type in Marvelous Jarvis. It's going to pop up. It's not really hard to find me. It's no... Um, Marvelous Jarvis 1, Marvelous Jarvis this, Marvelous Jarvis at this. And that. It's just... Marvelous Marvelous job, job. And it's gonna pop up. Man, check it, man. Hey man, it's been another great segment of Boss Talk 101. Oh yeah.